today for tomorrow's read. Here we have the African American Tarot by Jamal R. and Thomas Davis. Very beautiful deck. This is what I'll be reading from today. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So we, we're we dealing with um, past, present, and moving forward. Then also a transformation card. So what does that look like for tomorrow's energy? And again, if it resonates with you, then keep it. And if it doesn't, it's probably something that is um, a little bit obscure. It's okay. Um, I wanted to share this card. It's the death card. It showed up reverse. Now, notice here that everyone is um, literally looking at this, this woman that's representing death. And some are scared. Some have questions. However, it shows up reverse. So, uh, this is a little off-putting because it says that we're not willing to change, even in the in a point of uh, being a little uncomfortable. We want to still do things the way that we have uh, decided that it should work. But it's not necessarily ne uh, necessarily yielding you or giving you the experience that you want. You only think it is, but it's very short-lived. I'll show you. Um, present tense. Here we get to play a little bit, right? This is the sun giving caution to the wind. We're not thinking about anything. We're just going on about our business. But yet... As we move forward, because we are unwilling to change and um, break free of some uh, certain types of habits that keep us from being able to make progress, then we're going to be right here with the Eight of Pentacles, however it showed up reversed. So that's more like karma. Karma, re-looping, never getting the message, never seeing, seeing the outcome that has already been there before, the outcome that just keeps going over and over and over. It just kind of has a little tweak, kind of looks a little different, kind of smells a little different, but it's the same thing over and over again, that you end up getting the same results. And so how do we change this? First of all, we have to acknowledge what the issue is, that we don't want to change. It's hard to change. That's the issue. It's really hard to change, whatever that is. It's hard to break free of habits. Um, and some habits might not be um, harsh, but they, but yet and still, they don't allow you to be able to make progress. They keep you stagnant. So that would be the issue right there. That would be the full issue, not able to make changes very well. And so you might say it like this, I don't like change. And there are a lot of people that don't like change. They don't wanna to move to another city. They don't want to get another car. They don't want to move to another house. They don't want to embark on um, a new um, a new education, a, a, a new a form of study. They just don't want to do it, right? Because it involves too much unearthing of our core belief system. So anyway, so how do we combat that? One of the ways that you can do so is um, by recognizing that that change is either going to um, do one of two things. It's going to propel you into a better, it's definitely going to propel you um, forward. However, it's your attitude that is determining whether it's propelling you forward for something good or something negative, right? So we have to change our attitude. So what are those feelings that we might feel when, when we're dealing with um, making change? Because we definitely want to enjoy life. Right. So uh, the, the statement might simply say, and, and what I'm going to encourage you to do is get a piece of paper and write this in cursive. There's a reason why. And when you come and join my community, you'll, you'll learn these things. However, let's say that feeling inside is saying, I hate change. I don't want to change. and It's not fair. So we want to deal with that emotion right there so that it's not affecting us for the rest of the day or the month or with other people. So the cancellation statement would be not, I hate change. Not, it's not fair. It's very simple. Not, I hate change and not, it's not fair. Now the sentences might not sound uh, relevant, but there's a reason why those things happen. And coming into the group, you'll find um, the explanation as to why we use certain statements in order to quell the emotional trigger in the body. And you can go to sugarbee.com and, and I'll share that with you. Anyway, okay, so that would be one thing. So then you're going to find out 
okay, what else is it that my body is feeling like it wants to say? Everyone else wants me to change, but they're not willing to do the work themselves. Oh, okay. Because it's how you feel inside. So we want to cancel that. Not everyone else is willing to change. Not everyone else is not willing to change. And you may feel like it's not fair. It's not not fair. And you might also feel like change doesn't get anything done faster. or You don't get anything faster when you change. So those words might say, what difference does it make? And see, there's a lot of contention in there. So you want to eradicate that because emotions keep us from being able to be vibrationally matched with what we desire to experience. So if you're saying these, the sentence, what does it matter? Then you want to cancel that, not what does it matter. Go back and revisit the first issue, the first statement. And in, in doing so, you'll find that the the feelings that you had before, let's just say it was an eight or nine, it felt really aggressive, will begin to decrease. That's really cool. So that very beginning statement, I don't want to change, and you're feeling that thing inside of you. Now you want to be able to feel this neutrality, that it doesn't really matter. But not in a negative way, but that you're not charged by it. So now after you get to the place that you're neutral, you want to go into your positation. And the positive statement that I received here is the Four of Swords. This is a contemplation meditation card. I love this card. So the affirmation or the positation that I would say here is you easily ascertain information in order to make the best decision. You easily ascertain the information in order to make the best decision. The second one would be change works for you. Change is good for you. Change goes well with you. Those are the positions that I have for today. Anyways, I want to thank you for joining me. I'll be here again tomorrow sharing another card and talking about what might be the triggers based on how the reading and the energy is flowing for the day. Again, you might not have these triggers, but those triggers might be or those statements might be connected to something else. So make sure you state, uh, you, uh, state them privately. Write them down. And then before you go to bed, say them again so that you can confirm that you would like to eliminate that feeling or that charge that you had when you first made those statements. And when you awaken in the, in, in the, the next day, you can check how much is still there or if any by just saying, hmm, I hate change. Yeah, I don't feel anything. And that's how you'll know that you cleared that negative trigger. Well, anyways, thanks for joining me. You can catch me on my Facebook and my Instagram page. Those links are posted below. As well, you can join our um, indigenous uh, community of the diaspora um, women that are learning how to clear negative trauma in order to move forward productively. Thanks for joining and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.